Hey everyone, I'm Kevin with JCR Off-Road. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the installation of our Bronco Trailgate Accessory Mounting Plate. So on the Bronco that we're gonna be installing this on, we've already gone through and rewired the license plate light so that we could get the JCR license plate relocation kit you see here installed previously. So in order to learn and understand how to get that rewired, you can go check out that video and then jump back to this and follow along as we get the rest of this installed. We're actually gonna begin here inside the tailgate by removing this plastic panel so that we can access the wiring for the tire mount. That's just gonna allow us to disconnect it and push it back out so that we can get this out and laying on a bench so it can be disassembled. So for that, you just need a plastic pry tool. You're gonna start here on this inside edge. That's just got three clips that run down the side here. I'm gonna pop those out and then you can kind of rotate that to release those hook style clips. With that out of the way, you're gonna have two clips up here that need to be removed. These just kind of have like a press in style thumb tab. And that'll kind of free up this section of the wiring so that we can get this grommet pushed out through the outside of the tailgate. For this, you may have to reach around to the outside just to help you out a little bit, but this kind of just has four little tabs around each side. You can press those in with your thumb and that'll free that up so you can push it through to the outside. So if you haven't done so by now, you're obviously gonna have to pull your factory spare tire off of this mount. And then you'll need a 13 millimeter socket to remove the eight bolts holding this assembly in place. Then just make sure you're supporting this as you pull the final bolt. We can pull this free from the tailgate and set it over on a bench to get it torn down. We'll begin this disassembly with a T30 Torx socket to remove the two Torx head screws up top here. Getting these out of the way should allow this wheel stud assembly to kind of drop free. And then you're gonna to need to kind of push through each of these holes on the plastic structure to kind of free that up and let it drop out of the back side. So this foam piece is also just gonna kind of drop free when you get those two screws removed. And then you'll be left with this inner structure here. There's gonna be two clips along this side that you should just kind of be able to pull on and free up from this assembly. And then here on the back side to actually get the camera removed from its mount, you're gonna need a T20 Torx to remove this fastener and plastic clip. Then you should just be able to push back on the camera, freeing it up from that mount. And then this will just be a similar connector to what you had inside of the tailgate to disconnect this wire harness and allow you to feed it back through this mount. Once you've got the camera removed, you can come back over here and remove these four fasteners, again using your T30. And this is just gonna free up this center section from the third brake light mount. To disassemble this, you'll have to switch to a T25 and remove the eight screws holding it together. Then this top section up here should just be held together with clips so you can kind of work your way up and you should be able to separate these two halves. That'll expose this plug here which again is just a little kind of thumb tab you'll need to press to unplug that and then you can just route this wire back out of its corresponding clip locations. Now you'll be left with your wire harness assembly free from the tire mount and it can be reinstalled back into the tailgate as we'll kind of make these final connections later on. Now at this time, you're gonna to wanna to grab four of the factory bolts that held that tire mount to the tailgate and reinstall them in these four mounting locations since you won't have access to those after our trailgate plate is installed. Now before you install the trailgate plate on the tailgate, you're gonna to wanna to get the intersection of the license plate bracket installed here using the provided short 516 button head bolts and serrated flange nuts on the back side. It's gonna install just how you see it here with the small alignment tab pointing up. 
and then you'll just use a 3 16 hex to tighten this up. Now before this goes on, this is going to be when you want to get in here and mount all your accessory mounts as well. So your Rotopax mounts, any quick fists or anything like that that you might be installing on here because you're not going to have a lot of room to access hardware after this is on the tailgate. Now you can get this installed with the provided metric button head hardware into those factory tire mount mounting holes. Once you have all four of those started by hand, you can tighten them up with a five millimeter hex. Then before installing the actual license plate mount itself, we're gonna do just a little bit of assembly here to get the camera, the license plate light, and third brake light in place. So starting with the camera, you're gonna to wanna to keep this in the same orientation in which it came out of the original factory tire mount. It is going to slide into this piece of the bracket from this front side. You'll follow that up with this little square lockdown plate and then you're going to be provided with these very small number five socket cap screws that can be placed through the front of here as well and backed up with the corresponding nylon locking nuts. Then you'll need a 564 hex and a quarter inch socket or wrench to tighten these in place securing that camera to the bracket. After you have that tight, you can grab the outer kind of clamshell portion, place those together like this, and then they're going to install on the back side of this license plate mount using quarter 20 button head bolts with flange locking nuts. Once you've tightened that in place, you're going to need to install the license plate light followed by the third brake light. So if you've watched the license plate relocation video, like we suggested earlier, you're going to be somewhat familiar with this already. You just pull the adhesive backer and stick that in place here to the mounting tab just above the plate. Then we'll provide you with these spade type terminals to crimp on these and connect them with the wiring you would have ran earlier. After that, you'll install the third brake light. It's gonna have this square cut out here for the wire to pass through. And then you'll be provided with these number eight button heads to secure it in place. Now this is labeled with a top, so pay attention to that as it's going in. You can install the corresponding washer and nut here on the back side. And then what we're gonna recommend you do over here on the other side, it might be a little bit difficult to see on camera, but this has a metal kind of grounding tab inside of this right side bolt hole. We're gonna provide you with a small section of black wire as well as a ring terminal. You'll wanna crimp that on here and then that can be bolted to the back side of this button head to make sure that you get a good ground on this light. Then that hardware can be tightened up with a 3 30 seconds hex out here and an 11 30 seconds socket or wrench on the nut side. After that light's tight, you can cut and strip that ground side wire to length. Do the same on this red power wire if it's not done already and then you'll have two more of those spade terminals that can be crimped in place here. Then once you have all that wiring kind of roughed in, this can be placed here on the body side mounting bracket and secured with the 3 8 carriage bolt and nut. To tighten that, you should just need a 9 16 socket. Once in place here, you'll be provided four quarter 20 button heads to install the plate to the license plate mount. You just kind of have to make sure you sneak the top edge of the plate up behind that plate light as it's going in place. And then again with these, it's just your 5 30 seconds hex to tighten them up. Once that's in place, you can plug in your license plate light wiring here, followed by the factory camera plug. And then the last wiring you're going to need to do is for this third brake light. So that's going to require you to cut the factory harness out here somewhere. Make sure you have adequate length to get to the wires you prepared down here earlier. And you're gonna to have to work at this and peel back this tape a little bit. So that should expose the two wires here. You're gonna have a black wire with a green stripe as well as a yellow wire with a gray stripe. The black one will be connected to your ground down here and the yellow one will connect to this red power wire on our third brake light. So once you've made all your wiring connections and checked that everything's functioning properly, your installation is complete. 
Now, if you guys have any questions about this install or any other product we offer here at JCR Off-Road, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can send us an email at info at jcroffroad.com or give us a phone call at 269-353-1184.